Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn a new sign language. So you may remember that last year, way, way, way last year, I did BSL, British Sign Language. That was fun. A lot of you seem to like it. So I said I'd do more languages in the future. I'm a little late on this, sorry. But now today, for this new video. But now, here's a new video about that. Maybe I should stick with ASL. Anyway, this will be just like the last video. I'm going to study the numbers and alphabet. It'll be a really simple and casual video. I'll be watching the videos on my phone. I'll follow along with the videos and then I'm going to try to remember everything. Okay. Oh, a little information about me. I was born in Germany. Also, I know a lot of Americans who use this sign. But I watched this Seek the World video with Germans in it. They said they prefer this sign. So I'll use that. If German folks want to let me know in the comments, go ahead. Anyway, so I'm from Germany. My dad was in the army. He had been stationed in Germany and then he got married. Is that the sign for married? I'm always forgetting that one. Anyway, he got married and then I was born and here I am. Moved to the US when I was one. So yeah, I never learned DGS. I think it's DGS. If I'm wrong, I'll put the right one up here. Okay, should we start? Are we ready? There are two videos. One for the alphabet, and another for numbers. Alright, alphabet video is first, so let's do that first. Before we start, a few of you have asked me if I know or speak German. I understand a little bit. I can read a little bit. I can speak a little bit, but I'm not fluent at all. I understand it more than I speak it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so far it looks very similar to the ASL alphabet. There's a few differences. These are T and Y. Interesting. T, Y. I think it's the same, just moved downward. Oh, but wait, the ASLP is also different. Oh, okay. The German P is more close together. The German Q is more open. Wait, does X also move? Okay, I thought it had... I thought DGS had more to the alphabet. I thought I saw a photo that had this sign on it. A sign for double S's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for this picture. Okay. I'm looking at this other picture. You have an O with two dots above it. 
then it seems to look like this. The photo obviously doesn't move, so I don't know for sure, but it looks like it does this. And then there's SCH. So it's like the word Scheisse. So that looks like this. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. So that's interesting. So if you wanted to sign a German S, this is the ASL S. This is the German one. SCH is this. But S looks like this. Which is the right one? Maybe it depends on the area? I don't know. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. But if you wanted to sign the ligature. So that's. Two S's together. So, Scheiser, for example. If you wanted to sign a U with two dots above, it looks like it would be this. But if you wanted to sign a regular U, it's like this. I'm curious to know which is wrong. I'm curious about what is right. Now let's move on to numbers. I don't see captions or subtitles. Not sure how well I'll follow along. I, I don't understand this. I can't lip read the German language. <laughs> It'll be fine. One, two, three, four, uh, oh no. I need both hands for this. Let's try that again. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ow. That's hard. It hurts. One, two, three, four. Use your on this hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This finger is going to be a problem. Okay. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Again. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, let's stop there. I want to try again with the alphabet and numbers. But I'm still confused about the alphabet. Which is the right one, the video or the picture? I don't know. I guess we'll just use her video. Alright, let's try this. I'm ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, or this, and then maybe this is S, E, H, and then two S's, or this, T, U, or this, V, W, X, Y, Z, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ah, wait, no, again. Eleven, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir- eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Maybe I did okay. Really, I want to know which signs were right ones or what the deal is with the S-E-H and two S's. I'm confused, so I just want to know. So, that was interesting. It was interesting to see what my home country's sign language is like. Would I study DGS in the future? Probably not. I don't live in Germany. And I don't talk to anyone there. Perhaps I may study a little in the future, but I don't know. Now I'm still learning ASL. That is my focus. But that was cool to try. The numbers were difficult. My ring finger can't really move like that. Left hand is a little easier. I wonder if any German signers have that problem too. Hopefully you thought this was a cool video to watch. Let me know what sign language you want to see next. I know some people wanted to see Japanese sign language. We'll see. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Then click on the bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. That's a good thing to have. If you'd like to translate this video, I have a link below in the description. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye.